then we can get to the game. Uh, but uh, so, uh, so I'll give you the timeline on Yoki's. Uh, so she took the injury actually in the Central Florida game. Um, that was, and she didn't know how it occurred. She just knew that she got kicked or in the scrum or whatever. You guys have seen it. I mean, she takes a, a beating down there, right? So hard to pinpoint when you actually get the injury. When we came back from there, though, you know, we had Oklahoma and Texas. She practiced, and um, it was sore. She was limited, but Oklahoma game plays very well. First half, physical, I think only had three in the first half, ends up with, with a good game. Um, but after the OU game, we're really sore, really sore. And I uh, was limited there uh, going into the Texas game. Um, plays through it, plays through it. During the Texas game, you could really see that laboring. So I actually met with the captains after the uh, Texas game, and we took a couple days off and because we also had Gabby get hurt in that game as well. Um, but when we got back on Tuesday, uh, we practiced before we left for Fort Worth. It really wasn't much better, maybe a little bit. felt a little bit better, and the swelling was getting better. Wednesday, we obviously have the weird circumstances there. Don't play. I don't think she was going to play on Wednesday. She might have tried it, but I'm going to say that no, the way it was going Tuesday night. But early that morning, I got news. So we got final confirmation, and I want to make sure I get this right, Thursday night that the MRI showed the fracture, and then we were able to schedule after conversations um, the surgery. So anyways, that's where it's at. Um, that's it. We, we put the release out, but I, I at least wanted to uh, kind of give you the timeline because it's, it's uh, um, yeah, good player, obviously. We, you know, she was national player of the week on a fractured ankle. Uh, the legend of Yoki continues. All right, what else? Yeah. Yeah, and they didn't get the news till late Thursday night. Um, did they get it Thursday night? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thursday night. Yep, Thursday night. Um, ask me that again. How do you feel like they responded to not having her? Um, I think that the initially finding out, um, you know, it's a, it's it's a little bit of a, a kick in the gut, you know. But at the same time. Um, uh, we we played a lot without her in the summer as she was coming back off the knee. So I think that gave them some confidence. We had the early scrimmage against Illinois that she did not play in. That gave us uh, her some uh, our team some confidence. And then we obviously have had stretches in games. Cincinnati road game, she was in foul trouble. We extended the lead. I think went on like a 15 to one run. So I think they know that. Uh, they know that when she's out of the game, we play differently. But we haven't had to play that way in a while. So you're right. It was a short turnaround to, to kind of get back to some of those things. Um, I liked Maupin's energy early. You could see right away that she, she was doing what we needed her to do. Um, I liked that early at both ends of the floor. Um, I thought Lester eh, was a little rough in her minutes early um, um, and needs to get into the flow a little bit more at both ends of the floor. I think both can really help us and both have shown uh, good things, but uh, Moppin in particular had a really, really good look. Well, I think we're going to have to defend it um, 
we're, we're not going to be able to just one-on-one -on -one defend that, you know, that we do so much with Lee. Um, so we'll have to get help. I think that'll be game by game of how we do that. Um, I went into this game thinking we would play more um, uh, double teams, but then, you know, Jackson's injury changed that as well. You know, they got a tough deal on that. So the game really turned into mostly small ball. And um, so we didn't have to do a lot of things that I went into the game thinking we might have to do. Well, I thought she got off to a great start, banged a couple shots down early. I thought her cuts were really, really good. You know, she's a veteran. Uh, this game means a lot to her. Um, she's been in this game. She knows uh, the, the emotion behind the game. And I uh, thought she got off to a great start. Yeah. You know, I think it's it, uh, it it always starts in practice. You know, now in some cases you get forced into. I don't want to say forced. You get the opportunity to get minutes, and so you maybe get another run. But she has had good practices over the last seven eight days, and I haven't got her as many minutes. But um, uh, her practices have been much better, and you know she reaped the rewards of that today, and they were big minutes for us. We were able to go to her in critical situations to uh, get big plays for us. Yeah, I, I felt like um, we needed to get balance. You know, the shots were going to be distributed differently. And there wasn't going to be one player that uh, was going to get all of uh, Lee's shots, right? Um, Zy Walker continues to just make strides every day. She hits a big three. KU's made a good push in the fourth. Love the confidence to take it. Love, love the fact that um, uh, uh, she has continued to make big plays in those moments for us. Um, I thought Serena Sundell had a really good look for 40 minutes. Uh, Jalen Glenn quietly, uh, uh, and I say quietly because that's just kind of how she plays the game. Uh, but yeah, I liked our balance. I, li I liked our balance. And then you go Briley and you go Moppin, and, and um, it's going to be critical that we uh, have that in, in, I think, every game. And you just always deal with Priscilla to start. Uh, yep. Is that more of a veteran player? Or Thought we had um, an opportunity to play differently with Jackson. You know, uh, you know, we played that way a year ago and just thought that uh, we needed to take her away from the basket, and Gisela's the player that can do that. Uh, then the game changed, and um, then I think that gave some, player, some other players more opportunities. But uh, Gisela's going to get a real good look here. Uh, she does a lot of good things. Yeah, you know, I was. I was. I thought we were pretty jumpy at times. You know, they got to the free throw line. But all in all, we had a good awareness of their shooters. And shoot, the only downfall to the two they made were they were in critical spots in the fourth quarter, right? And, uh, you know, we kind of lost Kerskeeter on a play that they've ran forever that I got to steal from Brandon because he gets it every time against us. I wish he'd get it out earlier in the game sometimes because he gets that play every time. Every time. And uh, we don't defend it very well. I didn't sense that from them. That might be a better question for them. I didn't sense that. I, I sense that they were um, focused, locked in to, I think, initially locked into what they individually needed to do. I was concerned that I hadn't got my message across well enough to how we needed to play differently. And that concerned me. It did. It concerned me. It, it concerned me this morning. Um, so I, I think they were pretty solid, but boy, that message, I, I, I had to keep pounding it every time out. And um, so I think that's going to be a work in progress to going forward. Um, hopefully I can get my message across better in the coming uh, weeks practice-wise. How was the atmosphere tonight? I mean, was that rain with the crowd in between it and Nashville? 
You know, um, well, I mean, it's the best crowd we've had since UConn. Um, it uh, obviously the uh, capacity has changed, but um, I thought it was a great crowd. And I thought, you know, so many times crowds are when you make big plays, but this crowd was different. They cheered when we needed to make a big play. And that was really, I think, a special moment of being in the game because that's a knowledgeable crowd. Because um, I, I heard them the one time when KU had made two or three baskets to get it down to three, and it was like half the crowd stood up. And I thought, you know, the, that's the energy we need. And then Zy Walker hit the big three, and, and uh, you know, um, I think that propelled us forward. So great crowd, great atmosphere. I appreciate it. I know our players do as well. Yep. Yeah, I think that um, one of the things that continues to impress me, and I said this earlier, is that um, uh, the, when the moments are big, she has played extremely well. And uh, go back all the way to Iowa, right? And uh, defensively, she has tough, tough matchups. You know, she has her and Jay draw the opposing team's leading scorers a lot of the time. Uh, and then offensively, uh, she she has continued to make the strides. But in big moments, she has made big plays. Uh, that, that's it's really fun to watch. I love it. We got media wanting more questions. I love it. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it, I, I thought KU really, in the second uh, quarter, really played well, right? And I thought they really drove it at us. And so it was just a, this game's always special, right? Uh, means a lot to our fans, means a lot. Uh, it's great to have a rival like this in all sports. Uh, but this was a special one. A lot of circumstances around it, and uh, you know our team uh, continues to answer the bell uh, when it needs to. Um, now we got to keep that, and we got to keep it in practice, and um, that's always the concern for me. And and uh, um, not in the sense that I worry that they won't show up. But because, as you know, I've referenced how they show up every day. But in the sense that every team, every team gets into where they, 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 they've got to be, they've got to be edgy. They've got to have an awareness. They've got to have a concentration level to push through things. And um, that'll be the challenge tomorrow. Yeah, I, I didn't think it was as good as I'd like it to be. Uh, I think it could, it's got so much more in there, and I think that we, we can build off of that. I thought the ball stuck too much in that stretch. Now, give Kansas credit. They do a pretty good job of denying some areas. That's a stingy defense over there that uh, can really defend you. But I thought we got a little stagnant. I thought we were a little bit tired. I thought, I thought that was the one thing that concerned me was um, – we're going to have to move more without Lee in the game offensively. And we've got to be able to uh, be fresh and be able to do that. But I, I, I like the fact that we were able to push through that at about that five-minute mark. All right, everyone. Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, sorry. Yep. I just wanted to ask you about free throws. I think seven out of eight in the last minute and a half. Yeah. Yeah, you know, um, it's going to be critical to knock those down. I thought um, I thought our players really stepped up. And, um, you know, yeah, if you're going to extend the lead in those stretches when you've got the lead, those last two minutes are critical. That One, we get to the line. We get um, uh, we got a variety of players to the line. That's the thing that's good is that a variety of them knocked them down. So that will be big for us. All right, guys, thank you.